Greetings and welcome back to the workshop. Now, some of you were concerned about my nuts and bolts on my brake linkage gear. Some of you commented saying that the nut could come undone and the bolt drop out and the brakes become completely useless. Which, yes, this is true if they were a permanent thing. But I decided just to get the brakes tested, I would just use nuts and bolts, hold the bolt from underneath because it's easier, and then screw the nut from the top. They were never going to be a permanent thing. I knew I had lots of pins to make. And for that, I'm going to start by using some 19mm hex bar. Ooh. Anders. Ta da There we are. Only a few more to make. Job will be a good one. I'm swapping to some 17mm hex bar this time. I need a couple of pins that are made out of 17mm. <coughs>
that little line you've just seen me put in there that is so when i put the thread on uh, i know where i want the thread to stop Right, so there we go. We've uh, got them done. Uh, we've got the ones that have got the 19 mil head, and then we've got a couple of shorter ones, well, longer ones than those, uh, with the 17 mil head, and we've got some long ones with the 17 mil head. So uh, I'll go strip the uh, brakes down, fit these, and then I'll show you them. <sighs> Nearly 60% of the viewers on this channel have not clicked the subscribe button because you never know when this steam engine's finished it may come to a railway near you and you could miss out and not know about it because you didn't click the subscribe button and that notification bell you know where else would you get to see somebody drinking tea on the internet finally got the brakes done yes as you've just seen I've just turned a load of pins that are now fitted to the locomotive now I use some 19 mil hex bar for the links uh, giving just a bit of a bigger head because I know some of you are a little worried that they'd fall out so with a bigger head there's no chance of them falling through uh, we also turned down some 17mm hex uh, for the link from the brake, brake link bars, to the lay shaft drop down link. We also turned down some 17mm hex bar for the brake blocks to replace those. So now they are pulling on the flat of the, the bar, not the thread, so everything's great there. We've also got the lovely brake handle in place. Uh, which goes down obviously to our pull shaft link thing. Uh, as you can see, I've put a piece in at the end to stop it spreading when it pulls up. I did notice it try and open just a little bit. I've put that in and that will stop it from uh, moving. You'll also notice that I've put the rear kick plate back in. I've simplified how I've done that. I didn't use angle iron in the end and I've not bolted it from the outside. What I've done is I've used two pieces of flat bar which have then been welded to the frames. That's going to be good enough. There's uh, enough supports around the frames to hold everything in place so it's just a kick plate. And behind there we're going to keep all the air brakes. Uh, so we've got all that to do in there but that's basically train brakes. It's not really stopping the locomotive. It's more for the train. So that's it for this video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, then how about giving the subscribe button a click uh, and the notification bell and you'll be notified when we next release a video. Don't forget to click the like button because that helps this video share around to like-minded folk and people who enjoy the same things as you. If you're one of the loyal people who watches all the videos right to the end, then I'm going to show you something I've bought. You may have spotted it in the background in some videos. We have bought something very important for this steam engine. Stay safe. Laters.